perfect opportunity for Google to test out its new AI hurricane forecast program. Next, weather meteorologist Scotty Withers reports on how well the new model did at predicting Aaron. While public discourse fixated intensely on ChatGPT writing college essays and AI art generators creating controversy, artificial intelligence quietly achieved breakthroughs that solve problems which have stumped humanity for half a century. We're talking about diseases that seemed fundamentally incurable suddenly showing pathways to treatment. Mathematical problems that only Olympic caliber minds could solve now being cracked by algorithms in seconds. Weather predictions that took hours of supercomputer processing time now being generated in literal seconds with superior accuracy. Most people still think AI is primarily about chatbots and image generation. And for a considerable period, that's all mainstream attention focused on. Conversational interfaces, art controversies, copyright debates, but behind that public-facing spectacle, something far more profound has been unfolding across scientific disciplines. AI hasn't just been making pictures or answering questions. It's been fundamentally reshaping how scientific discovery itself happens, collapsing timelines from decades to days, and revealing insights that humans might never have found independently. What follows is an examination of the breakthroughs that happened while everyone was distracted by the visible surface of AI technology. The weather revolution that's saving lives right now. Let's start with something that sounds mundane until you understand the stakes. Weather forecasting. Accurate predictions aren't just about deciding whether to bring an umbrella, they're about the difference between organized evacuations and catastrophic loss of life when major storms approach. Knowing about a hurricane five days in advance versus five hours determines whether thousands of people survive or perish. Traditional weather modeling requires hours of supercomputer processing time. Teams of meteorologists feed massive amounts of atmospheric data into physics-based simulations, wait for computational results, adjust parameters, and repeat. It's expensive, time-consuming, and despite all that effort, still produces incorrect forecasts regularly. Then, in 2023, DeepMind's GraphCast system completely upended the entire meteorological field. This AI produced weather forecasts in seconds, not hours, but actual seconds, while simultaneously outperforming Europe's ECMWF model on approximately 90% of key accuracy metrics. The ECMWF represents decades of meteorological research and billions in supercomputing infrastructure. It's considered the world's leading physical physics-based weather prediction system, and an AI trained on historical weather patterns beat it decisively. GraphCast successfully predicted Cyclone Mocha, which devastated Myanmar in May 2023, nearly a full week in advance. That additional warning time enabled evacuation efforts that saved thousands of lives, not theoretical lives, but actual people who would have perished without that extended preparation window. Weather agencies worldwide are now scrambling to integrate AI forecasting models alongside their traditional systems. With climate change driving increasingly extreme weather events, larger hurricanes, unprecedented flooding, record-breaking temperature extremes, Faster and more accurate predictions aren't merely convenient improvements. They're becoming essential infrastructure for human survival. Communities need time to prepare. Emergency services need time to mobilize resources. And AI just provided that critical time advantage. With my most recent experience with uh, Gemini DeepThink, the answer was spectacular. The material science leaps spanning centuries Material science just experienced a breakthrough that compressed what would have been 800 years of laboratory work into a computational analysis completed in months. In 2023, Google DeepMind unveiled GNOME, an AI system that predicted the stability of millions of potential crystal structures, analyzing possibilities that would have required nearly eight centuries for human researchers to discover through conventional laboratory experimentation. Out of these millions of computational simulations, Genome identified 380,000 previously unknown stable materials. These aren't theoretical constructs. 
Early laboratory testing has already confirmed several predictions proving these materials actually exist and can be synthesized. The AI didn't guess randomly, it understood underlying physics and chemistry sufficiently to predict which atomic arrangements would form stable structures. The implications span multiple critical domains. Some of these materials could revolutionize battery technology, making electric vehicles dramatically more practical through improved energy density and faster charging. Others could enable solar panels that are simultaneously more efficient and cheaper to manufacture. Still others might function as superconductors that transform power transmission infrastructure and enable practical quantum computing. This AI-generated roadmap is fundamentally changing how scientists search for new materials. Instead of random trial and error approaches, mixing compounds, testing properties, hoping something useful emerges, researchers now have precise targets to investigate. It's the difference between randomly digging holes across an entire continent versus having an exact map showing where treasure is buried. The thought reading technology that actually works. While material scientists were discovering new compounds, Another team of researchers was achieving something that sounds like pure science fiction. Reading thoughts directly from brain activity and converting them into readable text. Not slowly with experimental equipment, not with elaborate helmet contraptions. We're talking about nearly 80 words per minute translation from neural signals to coherent sentences. In 2023, Stanford researchers used AI to decode brain signals into text for paralyzed patients who had lost the ability to speak or move. One patient literally communicated, I can talk to you with my thoughts. And she wasn't exaggerating or being metaphorical. Deep learning models trained on brain activity patterns learn to translate electrical neural signals into coherent sentences that appeared on screens in real time. At UC San Francisco, another research team achieved similar results, effectively giving people who had lost speech capabilities a voice again through direct brain-computer interfaces. But the applications extended beyond just communication. Patients began controlling robotic prosthetic arms through thought alone typing on digital keyboards just by thinking about specific letters, moving cursors on computer screens without any physical movement whatsoever. Brain-computer interfaces transitioned from theoretical neuroscience research to practical medical devices in just a few years. And AI was the critical bridge technology that made it possible, learning the incredibly complex patterns of how intended movements and thoughts translate into specific neural activity signatures that can be detected and decoded. Clinical trials are now testing wireless systems that could replace current bulky implants with less invasive alternatives. The technology is becoming more accurate, less surgically complex, and closer to mainstream medical treatment. We're observing the early development stages of technology that could fundamentally change how humans interact with machines and restore lost capabilities to individuals with paralysis or severe neurological conditions. The AI model they developed, called AlphaFold, uses databases with hundreds of thousands of protein structures and millions of protein sequences to predict and even design protein structures. The protein mystery humanity couldn't solve for 50 years, five complete decades, predicting how proteins fold into their functional three-dimensional shapes was considered biology's most challenging unsolved problem. Impossible, career-ending, the kind of fundamental question that consumed entire research budgets and produced minimal progress. And understanding protein folding matters enormously because proteins are literally the molecular machinery that makes life function. Your body operates on proteins. They determine how cells function, how diseases progress, how immune systems respond to threats. The problem was brutally simple yet impossibly complex. A protein's three-dimensional shape determines everything about how it works biologically. Get the shape wrong and you get Alzheimer's disease. Parkinson's, various cancers, countless conditions that medicine couldn't fully understand because researchers couldn't predict how these molecular machines actually folded from linear amino acid chains into their final functional forms. Traditional experimental methods required years of painstaking laboratory work, X-ray crystallography, nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy, 
Cryo-electron microscopy. Each individual protein structure took research teams months or years to solve through these techniques. Then in 2020, DeepMind released AlphaFold, and the entire landscape changed overnight. This AI system could accurately predict protein structures in hours, not years, but actual hours, with accuracy that matched experimental laboratory results. The biological research community couldn't believe the results. Scientists literally described it as a once-in-a-generation breakthrough that would transform entire fields. But that was just the beginning of the story. By 2022, AlphaFold had successfully mapped over 200 million proteins. That's nearly every known protein structure on Earth, solved and cataloged in public databases. Problems that would have required humanity centuries to work through using traditional methods were completed in approximately two years. Researchers immediately began using these predictions to advance potential treatments for diseases, design new industrial enzymes, and explore approaches to combat antibiotic resistance. And critically, this wasn't merely about speed. AlphaFold revealed protein structures that nobody had ever observed before opening entirely new research directions for drug development and fundamental understanding of how life operates at the molecular level. The impact continues rippling through biology, medicine, and pharmaceutical research. This single AI breakthrough probably advanced biological science by decades. The mathematical mind that rivals human genius? AI started competing with the world's most talented mathematicians and winning consistently. DeepMind's Alpha Geometry, introduced in 2024, solved 83% of international mathematical Olympiad geometry problems spanning a 25-year period. That's performance directly comparable to gold medalists, the absolute best young mathematical minds on the planet, competing in the most prestigious mathematical competition for secondary students. These aren't simple algebra problems or basic geometry. We're discussing advanced geometric proofs that require deep reasoning, creative insight, and mathematical intuition that humans develop over years of intensive study. What makes this breakthrough particularly significant is transparency. Previous AI systems were computational black boxes that produced answers without showing reasoning. Alpha Geometry displays its logical work step by step, exactly like a human mathematician would construct a proof. The implications extend far beyond mathematics competitions. Geometry underpins robotics navigation systems that allow autonomous machines to move through complex environments. It's fundamental to computer graphics and three-dimensional modeling used across entertainment and design industries. Physics simulations depend on geometric reasoning. Architectural design requires geometric precision. With AI capable of proving theorems at Olympic competition levels, scientists are optimistic about potential insights in pure mathematics that could unlock more reliable algorithms for engineering applications and scientific computation. Some mathematicians are excited about AI as a collaborative tool that can explore proof strategies humans might never consider. Others express concern about what happens when machines can prove theorems that humans can't understand or verify independently. From folding proteins to decoding thoughts, from predicting catastrophic storms to discovering hundreds of thousands of new materials, from proving advanced mathematical theorems to running autonomous laboratory experiments around the clock. AI is no longer merely assisting human research. It's becoming a discovery engine operating at speeds and scales that humans cannot match independently. These breakthroughs demonstrate how AI is quietly transforming science across every major discipline. Problems that stumped humanity for decades are being solved in months. Discoveries that would have required centuries are happening in years. The pace isn't just accelerating, it's becoming exponential, with each breakthrough enabling subsequent discoveries in cascading succession. And there's a profound implication here that society hasn't fully confronted yet. When AI can make scientific discoveries faster than humans can comprehend them, when machines can prove theorems we struggle to understand, when algorithms design better algorithms in feedback loops we can't fully control, what does that mean for human scientific progress going forward? 
Are we becoming genuine partners with AI and discovery or transitioning into observers watching machines unlock the universe's secrets without meaningful human contribution? The question isn't whether AI will transform science, it demonstrably already has. The question is whether humans will remain primary drivers of scientific progress or whether we're entering a new paradigm where AI leads discovery and humans follow, trying to understand what machines have already figured out. From molecules to mathematical abstractions to mapping the physical world in three dimensions, the story of AI reshaping science is only beginning. And what happens next will define not just technological capability, but humanity's fundamental relationship with knowledge itself.